call the meeting to order. It's seven o'clock according to that clock. Public comment for items not on the agenda. Additions or changes to the agenda. Um, the only thing I want to point out is when we meet with Sam and we start talking about budget and stuff like that, um, the cemetery commission, a couple of cemetery commission people are coming. But that falls under budget, so. All right. So, Toby, are you here for town hall or roads? Road. Okay. Got them on the agenda, right? Um, it says road commission and operations manager. I, and I ask, I keep asking. It's really helpful if you let me know what you have, so I can make sure there's enough time. I'm just delivering some information. Oh, okay. So the better roads grants are due in November 22nd. For next next year. For the following year. And um, I've talked to Dan Courier. He actually called me and asked me to reapply to the two grants that we applied to last year and didn't get. Mm -hmm. Those were? They were the Marshfield Road mm -hmm. projects, ditching on Marshfield Road, and also the gully repair on Marshfield Road. So. Oh, okay. Um, so we just need to sign those? No, it's, yeah. I haven't made the application yet. I'm just informing you that that's what I think we should be doing for both okay. those grants. And, and does CVRPC? have a say in, no. in helping us get these? No. Not that I know of. Oh, these look like different forms. No, it's the same form they've already hmm. used. That's last year's application. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense to me. We didn't get it this last time around, so. We did not. So. I know that Make one. Sure, if, you know, you guys want to know what grants we're applying for and what right. we're doing, so. Yeah. So the deadline is in November, and you find out like in April or May, and then it goes into the next fiscal, year. I fiscal year. I don't know when they're going to announce them. But it's usually in the spring? It's usually in the spring. Sometime. And it would be for that next fiscal year. And usually they're 18 month grants. They're so good for months to finish them. But they usually, you get the notice, and then it's in that next fiscal year. So this Correct. Is this is for 20, yeah, fiscal year 21. Yep. Okay. Anybody have any questions? Okay. Do you need anything from us on these or? No, i uh, just let you know that that's my okay. plan. That, you know, one is for 18,000 and one is for 21,000. So. And these are, um, what are these, in kind? No, they're, full, they're, share? they're full, full reimbursement. So we oh, normally do even better. we normally do the work, and then they give us reimbursement for the work. Yeah, great. So. Tommy, did you take those tires off Robinson Cemetery Road? Not that I know. Somebody might have. Well, I, I was giving you credit for taking them. Maybe over the. Whew, I'll take credit. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Okay, and Toby, thank you for your help on the town hall with the steps and whatever else John has said you help with. Thank you very much for that. All right. Is there anything else? How's the road crew? They're getting ready for winter? Putting the plows on. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Uh, they're they're going over the, the plow fronts on the truck. They're getting the plows all greased up, ready to go. And, and, the, new, the, ready. and the new truck is um, getting fitted up? <clears throat> It's going into paint uh, at the end of this week for another week, so it should be two weeks away, roughly, maybe three. Yeah. And they put in the septic field at the town hall. Yeah. And now we're waiting for the tanks, which will come November 2nd? No, the week of November 4th. Oh. Oh. Somewhere in November. <laughs> so sometime in November, <laughs> sooner. Hopefully it was later. <laughs> we'll try to um, set it before it's snow. So, um, two questions. <clears throat> There was, I couldn't believe how many pieces of machinery were in East Callis to put pavement on that little section of Moscow Woods. It was like, you would thought they were re, re surfacing the interstate or something. There were so many vehicles, it was unbelievable. But that's all done, right? It's all done. It was quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then the other one was guardrails on. Jack Hill, Moscow Woods. Yeah, Alfie's been trying to uh, get in touch with the guardrail company. He keeps missing out, and he can tell you exactly 
How of that guardrails, the plastic guardrails that we haven't been able to get yet? Yeah, I keep playing phone tag I guess, with the owner of the company, and I'm trying to verify whether we paid for the rail. I thought you said we did last year, or last when we did the project, or or not. Mm. They didn't have the rusty rail. Yeah, I remember that. The job, yep. so we needed to put something up. We put secondhand rail. Uh, to get the job done. Right. And they were supposed to order the stuff and I haven't heard from them. So I've been beating the door this this fall to get to try to get them and I just I'll have to hammer them again tomorrow I guess and see if I can get a hold of them. Yeah. Well nobody said anything to me, but before somebody did I wanted to see what yeah. you know. No, it's on the agenda for sure. Uh, so get some rust to put it on there. <coughs> yeah. Well there you go. Is. Good idea. Yeah. And there are Paint some of that stuff on the <coughs> rust. Yeah, I mean, there is an acid that you can brush on there and it'll rust it up, but it'll be a time thing. And right. And if we already paid for them, that's, I think we already, I think that we already had. Well, there's no, well, I know we'd we have did. to look at the invoice because right. how many pieces we bought and how they were actually installed is mm -hmm. they right. only charge us for the ones that they did. Well, the issue is that there's two different prices. Rusty rail costs a lot more than, than the regular galvanized rail. So that's what we got to find. Can rod a chair? So I will move on that. I will be pushing for Yeah. Uh, now, is your email fixed at the shop? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have anything else for us? Uh, I would just let you know that the paving in East Dallas is done. I know, I encountered it. I couldn't believe how many trucks there were to do that little bit of paving. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, they did two, two coats on it, so. It's nice and smooth. It's really nice. Yeah, yeah very nice. Yeah. And today we put the shoulders in, so them on the edge, edge of the road so it doesn't break off. So mm -hmm. that's all, should be all ready to go. Good. And is it got the stripe yet? Does not. I'll call them and see if they can. It's kind of a shame because we just barely paid to do that, and then now we got to pay again to. And yeah. Normally the state does the yellow line, so we're probably going to not have yellow line for this year. But I can get the fog line on um, before winter. Is there any way to put a white line down the middle? Just. So <clears throat> uh, it's not. We could probably buy some of those reflective things that you nail into. Put it yeah, on we can, but the plow's going to scrape them right off. That's all right. Well, we'll, we'll do as best we can temporarily. Yeah. <laughs> but certainly we can get the wet lines put back yeah. on. Yeah, those are really helpful. Yeah, yeah. Um, the leach field for the town hall is all installed. Waiting yeah, on the yeah. septic tanks <laughs> to come and uh, we'll install them as well. Great. Sort of some of the things that we've been working on. So is dirt over the top of that, or does it just sit the way yeah. it is? Yeah. It's got to be. It's got to be pressure tested and oh. flow tested before we can cover it. Oh, okay. So and we can't do that until the tanks are all in and right. wired and water in there. And so it's kind of waiting for the tanks at this mm -hmm. point. And we can pass that inspection. Mm -hmm. Did the guys have fun working on that? Yeah, it was an experience for them. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, it's something different. It's a nice weather. Well, we had some great weather. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Good thing you weren't doing it on Sunday. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that's right. Pretty awful. Yeah. Anything, so, anything else? Everything's good at the shop? Everything's good at the shop. Um, I'm kind of getting mixed messages from Ed as our spare. Oh, I mean about this winter? Yeah. I was worried so, about that. Still working on him, whether mm -hmm. he can commit or not. He didn't hand his key in to me, so that was a shock to me. But, um, he did? Yeah. Oh. So then... <laughs> that then seems kind of clear, him. Alfie. <laughs> it's pretty clear, but then you talk to him the next time, and he's like, well, call me if you need me, or <coughs> get my mind. Huh. So I don't know. Do we, sure. do we have anybody? We don't have anybody else, right? Uh, Dana's not doing there. it. Dana's took a job somewhere else, so right. he's not available. There's one other guy that I'm pursuing, um, going to get him in and kind of start showing him the ropes. Mm -hmm. He worked for the state on the highway for many from, years. From Callis? Uh, he's not from Callis, from Marshfield. 
Who is it? Uh, Russell Codlin is his name. I know, I've heard the last name, but. Yeah, yeah, he retired from the state, so he's got experience following oh. and uh, whatnot, so, and he doesn't yeah. want a lot, he just wants, you know, he said he'd help out. Fill in. Fill in here and there, so he's, uh, he's my next option to look at. Mm -hmm. But it's getting to that time where we need, yeah. we need to get, uh, get For somebody sure. to commit to us. Yeah. But that's a hard spot. I mean, it's hard to find somebody that only wants now and then. And well, it's, all, it's you know, it's nice for somebody who's retired. Right. Right. You know, that isn't doesn't want full time and doesn't mind you know some hit and miss. Right. So getting up at two in the morning. Is probably it's at two in the morning. Yeah, that would do it for me. No matter whether you're retired or not, <laughs> it's right. tough. That's right. Yeah, I mean, I volunteer, but I don't get up. Even a young guy time. like me, it's tough. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a fact. But. Uh, he says he's willing to do it, and he's okay. had experience doing it, so I, I'm going to have to him a little bit, see if we can Great. get him lined up. And I'm still going to keep beating on Ed, because Ed's just great. He yeah. knows the roads, he knows the yeah. equipment, he knows the people. I mean, he's, he knows all the routes. He knows all the routes. I can put him on any route. <coughs> yeah. So I'm going to continue to yeah. you know, pursue him, make sure okay. he's good. Yeah. But I think we'll be ready. The files are ready. All the are on the truck. I haven't heard any prediction of snow. Has anybody else? There's a little whiff of it. Friday night, I think, and Saturday, but I mean, usually if it's going to snow, it's going to be Halloween. Yeah. No, it's going to rain. It's going to be a while. Oh, nice. <laughs> but you've got to be ready, and that's right. I'm yeah. Sure you and the sand ready. piles all up for the winter. The sand piles up. Yeah. Sign contract for the salt. I'm going to. Buy another tank for the magic, for the magic salt or magic, uh, and so that I can have it on hand mm -hmm. because it's sort of a challenge with just one tank to mix it. Yeah. You've got to mix it as the load of salt comes. So one tank will only do three loads, so sometimes you run short. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to try to get another tank to have on hand. Um, so yeah, we're. We'll be ready. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. we will be. Yeah. Yeah. The new truck should be along shortly. They're, they're telling me that it will be ready for paint at the end of this week. And then it's usually about a week to paint. So we should have it. And you'll get you got all the other stuff, attachment things, right? They're, that's what they're doing now is putting the right. plows and the body and all that hydraulic stuff in. And that's the place in St. J? Uh, Morrisville. Morrisville. I went up to look at it last Thursday, or Wednesday or Thursday, and went over some of the issues that they were having, just as far as where to put the levers and, yeah. the, you know, so things are moving along quite well there. Good. Yeah. Good. So it'll be in service for winter, that's the main thing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Uh, Good. Talked to Guthrie a little bit, and he said that that if we got into a bind, the truck wasn't here, and we got a little bit of snow, he would take care of the three miles of blacktop for us on the county road. Oh, thanks. You know, one or two times. So that's sort of returning the favor that we've done for him. Yeah. We've lent him our grader, we've lent him our truck, so. Yeah, well, it's good it, to work. It works out, yeah. Yeah, it's nice to work together like that. Yeah. Good. Um, other than that, if anybody's got any questions, I. Now, Toby just told us about the two grants. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to apply for those. Anybody have any questions or comments for Alfred? I, I would just observe, I did a lot of uh, driving around the local roads during the foliage season with some out-of-town relatives. And we went through Eastmont, Pelier, and Woodbury, and all over the place. And I think the Cal's roads are way better than those other two groups. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yes. Oh, yes. Um, it's always nice to have a positive comment. So, Rod, you came in. Right. You came in um, after I asked if anybody had public comment on items not on the agenda. Did, is that what you were here for? Yeah, I, I'm interested to hear the update on the town hall and how that's going. Oh, okay. Just think that the town's doing such great work on all these historic buildings, and you know, we keep going on that one too. Yeah, lots going on in town. Yeah. It's all great. All right, so that's a good segue into the town hall update. 
Donna and John, take it away. Okay. Um, <laughs> it, it's actually going well. Um, <coughs> the, uh, the wood floor downstairs will be done by the end of this week. Uh, the new front stairs, if not the end of this week, by, by next week the new front stairs will be done. Um, so we can enter the, the main, the upper level of the building from outside. Um, I, I continue to work as a volunteer, and and, and the reason for that is, uh, as you know, um, Ernie got sick and, and passed, and and also one of his crew members was taken off the job. So a crew of four was reduced to two, plus they had no leadership, and things really slowed down, not just because they're only half-staffed, but because, well, anyway, so, so I stepped in and started doing some of the work that Green Line would have done, um, and that was okay, and, and uh, I was just, it was the Green Line had two tasks left, and that was the exterior and the interior trim, and it turns out that it was about a week and a half ago we learned that Green Line was out of money. They asked for uh, their final payment of roughly $7,000, but in fact Green Line it's part of their commitment to the project was to provide materials for handrails, cable rail at the front stair, door closers, lock hardware, and and I did a, a quick estimate of the cost of that, and it came out to about $7,000. So Green Line was told that we weren't going to give them the final payment until those materials were on site anyway. Um, and uh, so without that final payment, there was no money to pay them in Future. So Green Line's gone now. Um, what we do have is a project that can be finished by me and other volunteers, and we have the money for materials. Um, so we're going to get what, what we expected to get from Green Line for the amount of money that we agreed to, um, regardless of who does the work. Um, so that's, that's all very positive. Um, mm -hmm. The building, it's, the, the work that Green Line did was great quality uh, would have been nice if they could have continued and done the interior trim, but it turned out that they're not yeah. going to do that. Anyway, that's the way it is. Um, the, uh, the, the disposal field is in. We're waiting for the tanks. Um, I'm meeting Tim Morse there tomorrow to talk about handrails to see if we can get someone local to do it, maybe even for a better price for the I mean, for all the, the stairs have metal handrails yeah. inside and the stairs outside. Um, the vinyl floor will be going in soon. As soon as the wood floor is done, I'm going to focus on the vinyl floor. Boy, that and the and and what's more, the interior trim materials are all on site and prepared. They've been primed and and, and milled, so it's it's not in bad shape. But uh, budget wise. When it's done, we're not going to we're not going to come back to the voters and say, you know, because Green Line either couldn't do something or, or didn't estimate it correctly, we have to ask for more money. That's not going to happen. That's good. Yeah, and in, in large part, I just want to point out, and you'll see up here this list. And I mean, town is not going to survive or function without all the volunteers sitting in this room, and then some. Um, you know, it, you don't always have to get paid for everything you do, and this is a fine, good example of how you don't have to get paid for every single thing you do, that it just makes you feel good sometimes to volunteer. But on the other hand, I want to point out on this list, all of these things in red, it has been John, largely, in part, with help from some other volunteers. All of these things in red are stuff that Green Line was supposed to do, and they aren't going to do it for various reasons. So John has stepped in. Toby's helped out. There's, there's a couple other people's names I can't remember. Sandy Hyde. Sandy Hyde. Steve Sweeney's come and done what he can do. Even I mean, Sandy Hyde from East Montpelier. Huh? <laughs> getting people from out of town. To come I mean, it's. I mean, that's what I mean. You don't always have to get paid for everything you do. Sometimes it's just nice yeah, to let's get some from friends. To give back to the community. You know, the community that you live in that you're proud of, just to, you know, make things work. But I just want to point out all of these things in red were things that Green Line was supposed to do. 
the only money remaining is about seven thousand dollars so somewhere along the way you know it's unfortunate that Ernie passed away and some of this stuff got kind of fuddled up but it's all good yeah, we're getting out of it. yeah. and we're gonna get the job done you know, so I think you. another thing to point out is that <clears throat> when Ernie got sick is that John who was only really supposed to be managing the town's subcontractors, suddenly was managing everybody. Right, managing the whole project. So now you're a general contractor too, John. It's already been that. Who did that was 30. And we, okay, <laughs> put, that on your, put that on your resume. My resume for my next job, you think I'm going to try this again? <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> okay, um, going back to the contract with Greenline, and they asked for a final installment. Yes. Um, are, is there should we have any concern that they will not agree with our interpretation that no, we... they've already agreed and, okay. and their, their ask for money wasn't to pay for something they'd already done or material right. they'd already provided it was money that they need to continue forward with labor but i made it clear that the material cost is something that I and mean, we can volunteer labor but i'm not going to go out and start asking people to donate money for the, the right. materials. Right. Do we have that in writing, John? No, we don't. Yes, we uh, do. We, we do, actually. I took, I took, no, it's in our meeting. With, with, right. with the bookkeeper, the, book the last sort of okay. uh, that conversation with Green Line. Said. Yes, there is, there is a written understanding. Okay. Yeah. So, and there's written documentation of all of it. Yeah, um, I, I took meeting notes. Um, and okay. Got, and this, the, this and is my the, book. Right. But it is just the most recent Green Line. <clears throat> Do, does it say Lisa agrees? Lisa's not part of it. Okay, so so that's I, not to be too persnickety, but to your note saying this was discussed, I would really love it to go that one, even even if it means if it doesn't. Okay, so the select board can talk to Lisa. Okay. I'm not. I, no, I, it's I, okay. I'm not. I had a conversation with her yesterday. Is she she got an email. She does not want to get involved in this. She's got she so can't. many other things going on. Okay, so there's she's got a ton of just trying to keep her family afloat. Yeah, she's, and she's dealing with other Green Line stuff. Okay, so she's out of Green Line, but she still kind of she kind of is Green Line, like the person who no, she's had, not. She she had nothing to do with the business. So what I'm trying to understand is who is the right person to agree to that point? Well, that person's dead and buried. So there's really nobody who is there must be somebody uh, responsible for finding out. Well, there's a partner. She's not really a partner. A business partner that wasn't really part of the construction company, but she was a bookkeeper for Ernie, and she's the one who's been seeing that the guys got paid regularly. And she was the one who was most upset when I explained to her that I wasn't going to say that we were going to give you the seven thousand because we needed it for the materials. Um, we have a letter from her agreeing right. that this is acceptable. That okay, there, okay. There's, a, there's an email from her so, saying that so the closest person like that's managing what's left okay. of the company is That's fine. That, that's that's right. in writing. Right. Yes. Yeah. That's in writing. Then. And then and Donna's got that in her notebook, I'm sure. That email. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Sure. So does... The question, the question I have is, all these red items in red that mm -hmm. Green Line was going to do, and unfortunately, so unfortunate what happened, obviously. Um, but, you know, volunteers <coughs> doing all those things, it's one thing to be a volunteer and spend <coughs> hours here, some hours there, to work 40 or 50 hours a week on this project full time. Don't we have some obligation as a town to compensate some of the people who are doing this? At what some point, we're already we taking advantage of people. It just seems completely. Well, that's my thought too, and I've already asked about you know what might you be able to pay John. Um, I wanted to volunteer. I wanted to. I wanted to contribute part of my fee as an architect. Put your hands up. <laughs> and Donna wouldn't let me, so I'm happy to do this. Okay, but you're not a general mind. contractor, are you? No, he is not. now. Okay. Well, I know. So, I just it I just seems very unjust to me. Yeah, I know. I agree. The, the we should the the town should find some way. Passing, the, to, whole, the whole thing is a massive. Okay, question. but the town should find some way to create some equity, treat people fairly, and get this beautiful project done, along with the Kent Museum and the Old West Church and all the other stuff that's going in town. This is the last thing we need to get done to 
just have beautiful buildings all over town. We should get this done. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know we, we are. Really done. We can yeah. talk about it in an acceptable compensation when the cameras come off. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, the select board has agreed that we can use Andy Felice, and he may have some time. I mean, he hasn't, he's working, so he hasn't had time to be here, but he right. may have some time in the next two weeks. So if you've agreed to, get, to pay him, why can't you agree to pay John McCollum? I didn't, I don't think we said we weren't. Or that we don't agree. It's just coming up with some funds right. to do that, and it's a personnel matter at that level. Yeah. I guess I would say if you have to dip into reserve funds, to borrow some money, whatever it takes, let's mm -hmm. be fair about it. No, I don't disagree with you about it at all. Right. None I of think us disagree with I you. I think, <laughs> and I, I'm, I hear that, and I'm heartened because I was a little worried that. Um, possibly you guys might not know how much John is doing outside of mm -hmm. Denise, of course, and Cliff. Um, but it's, I think it's the scale of what he has been doing. Right, it's not just been a little is, bit. That is way beyond what normal volunteer mm -hmm. yeah. expectations should be. And I don't know what, yeah. you know, what that amounts to, mm -hmm. but I think uh, some good back and forth between you and John might mm -hmm. find what is fair, yeah. and and I'm I'm delighted that you know Rod and others uh, see this, yeah, and, and that right. we need to be prepared to explain what has happened to this project fully mm -hmm. and transparently to everyone in the town. Well, and I mean, that's that's the other part of this mm -hmm. that I think is hard to explain. Uh, but I think we need to uh, look at the whole project and try to figure out what is mm -hmm. what is what should be expected under these uh, difficult circumstances. And John has gone above and beyond what the rest of us volunteers could ever even imagine doing. Right. So I do want the board to talk about it at some point, but I think it is a executive session personnel yep. kind of thing that we really can't do right now. Sure. Mm -hmm. But I really think it's important, and that's we have um, some estimated <coughs> figures. I think that we can put together John's time. You know, it's probably not going to be as much as what you would get paid if you were working for Green Line. <laughs> but. <laughs> No, I really want the board to think think about this and really be fair. Where do you want the vacation trip to go? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I appreciate your support, Rod. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, I just yeah. think the work is tremendous. I had a, um, a tour of the facility with a couple of relatives by the general contractor. It was pretty <laughs> impressive. <laughs> So it's it, very impressive. I, yesterday at the open house, there was a woman that almost burst into tears. She was so impressed. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. Wow. So, um, is there anything more on these documents that Donna supplied that you want to review or ask questions about? You've all had time to look at them before the meeting. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have some reimbursements, and some of them are things that the town should pay for, and some of them are things that should come out of that seven thousand dollars that's left for Green Line. Yep. Right, we'll About, make sure that's clear. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll make sure that's clear so that so that Sandra understands. Yeah. <laughs> and this is um, this document here <laughs> that is um, nine eleven task to finish. That is, and you've got one man hours, six, one man sixteen hours. Are these all? Is this all John's time? Can you help me with that? No, it, I think what you've got there is. If we're going to try to figure out how many hours John donated, John donated literally, except for maybe two weddings that he went to. Literally worked from the end of May until now, seven days a week, and I'm no, I'm not kidding. Seven I days I've a seen week. Them there. Um, no. So I think I'm seventy hours a day, a week, a day. <laughs> right. So I'm not sure which document you're looking at. Is it? It's this one. <laughs> Did you sleep? Long days. No sleeping. I just want to have an idea of how much. It's the one you labeled document number one. I just wanted to. This was okay. <laughs> this was um, when we got together with the bookkeeper. The guys were working outside, mm -hmm. 
and that took way longer than it was supposed to. So I made a list. This is from Ernie's um, quote. From his okay, is this what John did? Um, or can you go through and? Yeah, because the guys, the, the Green Line carpenters never got inside. They were all working outside. So yeah. Because if the board talks about this and. Right, John did. Nice yes, go. all of this, John did. All of this. <coughs> yeah, all of that. Because they never got beyond. They just they never got beyond clapboarding, right? No, they didn't. Okay. So this will help us to figure out how many hours you worked, and if we have, and if we come up with some compensation, we can justify it. Okay. Anything else? You and want it to is say? true that John was doing this for Ernie, Lisa, and the callous taxpayers. Yes, but, but there's a limit. It's my butt to people's <laughs> generosity sometimes. Um, well, thank you. Anything else? The board has questions on. So thank you for not one diming us. Thank you. Anybody else want to say anything? It's got few weeks. It should start yeah. really looking more and more finished. It's very clean now because we have volunteers on Saturday clean for the open right. house. That's right. Sorry, I didn't make it. It's beautiful over there right now. Yeah. Right. Um, I must say I've been in touch with some of the people on working on the Memorial Hall, which is kind of a similar sort of project. Mm -hmm. They are so jealous of us having John and Donna. I'm they, sure they, they are. Me with all their money, they got tons of money, <laughs> but it, but they would trade that for what we have. Yeah, I mean you can't. We are heart, so fortunate. Heart and we soul. have been so fortunate. The heart and soul. Yeah, that's why I say that. Yeah. Donna and John. And it's and it's mm -hmm. meant that it's that you know instead of coming to a grinding halt with that terrible, unfortunate thing that happened, which would have happened, which would have been, I mean that was everybody would have thought that was normal. Things kept moving. Yep, they did. we're going to be finished. This what, is amazing. When when do we expect we will be able to start using it for meetings? Oh, realistically, I mean, it, even me and the volunteers were we're not a we're not real a carpentry crew. Um, I, I wouldn't expect a certificate of occupancy from the state till sometime in December. Okay. Yeah, the electrician still has to come in again. Yeah. And we got to get the elevator thing working. The elevator is easy. <coughs> site work will go all together, parking lot to mm -hmm. the entry. The, right, the site work um, yeah. is needed to, to make it handicap accessible, yeah. the grading, um, and then the, and the setback, of mm -hmm. course, yeah. and uh, facilities. We have some decent <laughs> measures. <laughs> right. Forget about that. Yeah. Yeah. No. So. We end up with 12 inches of snow in a couple of days for don't even say that word. And thank you, Alfred, for the time you're willing to donate. Well, I'm here to help. All right. Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. Right, thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Yeah. There's not many people that would be dealing with John's situation. It's just on the There's no words, really. It's just not words. I mean, not only does he have the time, he has the time. Yeah. We're really lucky. Yeah. All right. Miss Sandra. Hey, Yes, I want to do. I also want to talk to. I've talked to the office staff already. I want to. Wants to really think hard about something that we can do that's meaningful and long-lasting. To thank John and Donna for their commitment to getting that project done. I mean, I don't think really any, not even me, who's come to like almost every single town hall meeting and been involved from the beginning. But we don't think we really have a clue how much time that they have put into this. And then Ernie passing on top of it just complicated things. It's been really challenging. 
Every time I drive by there, he's out there working, drawing his. Yep. I know. I know. It's just unbelievable that somebody's willing to I donate that had much time. I run down when I saw him. Yeah. I mean, some people, you know, would be like, no, I've got to have $2,500 yeah. to do this or that because I've already yeah. donated this much. And he's not doing that at all. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not at all. So, Miss Sandra, are you ready? I just need to come and get my. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, you have a notebook prepared by Sandra and Barbara um, with some schedules in there, or proposed deadlines. Um, there's a version of the budget. Um, where there's been some numbers put in just as placeholders because we know approximately how much things are going to go up. Like we know how much it's going to cost for the audit to go up. So in they're going to keep us updated with our little notebooks here. Thank you. It was a great idea. Yep. Um, so how would you like to do this, Madam Treasurer? Would you like to do? <coughs> Just the update, kind of where we're at right now. Yeah, let's do. We'll do the. Um, is that this one? September yes. report. Did you have one, Clark? Kind of split up on the screen. You want to flip up on it? Thank you. All righty, take it away. So, in September, our tax effort began in earnest and our revenues are well in excess of what was budgeted because of the swell in the treasury due to the um, tax collection effort. Ultimately, that money will be booked over to an accounts liability line because it's due to the school. And you'll see that in I October. Saw the, I saw the school tax bill. Yes, we're paying that today. And that's short because we had delinquent taxes. Um, our expenditures are on target. We are uh, beyond the 30% point, but that's largely due to the fact that there are one-time uh, expenditures that are front-loaded into the fiscal year. So there's nothing in the budget that stands out in terms of uh, expenditures. Um, highway revenues, we have booked all of the um, budgeted tax revenues due to the highway and um, they are pretty much at budget for revenues. We're waiting on state aid. That, that will complete their revenue picture. Uh, their expense picture is on target far as I can see. Um, again, there are front-loaded expenditures that are one-time that do skew the budget a little bit. It looks like we're over budget, but we're really not. The um, lease on the 2019 International has closed. Um, the, we didn't receive it in September, but the town fronted the purchase price from the capital equipment fund and it has been refunded to us as part of the lease. It came in so October. So it goes back into the capital equipment fund? Yes, yes. So again, your balance sheet is a little bit quirky because of the uh, swell in the uh, operating fund of tax monies. So we had a boatload of money <laughs> in the checking account, mm -hmm. over to well over two million dollars. Um, the uh, liability number in September does not reflect what we owe to the district for taxes, which was one point four million dollars. Again, you see those adjustments coming up in October and November when those bills are due. The one in here is for like one point three something million, right? Yes. That's so only that's only partial. Yes. Um, there. There was, as of September 30th, there was $192,000 outstanding on the first tax installment. 
so at the beginning of October to get this money in, I sent bills. So they would get a bill for the first installment plus the interest at 0.5% that was charged on that for the payments being uh, outstanding. So that was done in Do October. Do we have to pay the school district interest? No, your taxpayers who didn't okay. make their first take payment okay. by the clear. correct by the um, end of the grace period. Okay. Your delinquent tax report is really good. Uh, the current amount of delinquent taxes is fourteen thousand seven hundred dollars and some change. But that's from that's two thousand eighteen. Eighteen or nineteen. 2018. We only have delinquent taxes from 2018, and they are $14,700 and some change. From, and up from FY 2018? FY. From it. This it's is FY we are collecting. This is FY 20, but we're collecting 2019 taxes because they're due in 2019. Okay. So, so it's, it's FY so 19 we'll and it's 2018 taxes because they're due in the calendar year 2018. So of that balance, $7,100 has been turned over to Attorney Gloria Rice for collection. Mm -hmm. And I anticipate the remaining delinquencies uh, to be collectible without further attorney, invo attorney involvement. So roughly another 7000 will come yeah. in. Yeah. So just to, what's the attached report? The attached report, I don't know why green line is sitting there. I think it fell off the back of somebody's I think it fell off sheet. the back of somebody's sheet. Anyway, there is a backup to this. I sent a separate um, mm -hmm. attachment mm -hmm. okay. that is the backup to okay. this report. It's many, many, it's 18 or 20 pages long, so right. it seemed. Okay. But just yeah, we, we can look at it We can look at it mm -hmm. online. No, we may not need to. I just was looking for it here and I couldn't see it. So, all right. So it's a separate document. It is right. a separate document. Yeah, it's, it, it's a know. Google, it's in your Google it's Docs in the files. It's Google folder. Yeah. Okay. Um, so just so you can have an appreciation for the collection of delinquent taxes, at the end of the tax effort in 2018, that would be November 29th, there was almost $176,000 in delinquent taxes. So between that time and September 30th, I've collected $161,000 plus of taxes. We are um, a titch higher percentage-wise in outstanding taxes for the first payment um, this year over last year. Hopefully that will just sugar out in the end, but mm -hmm. that's that's where we are with that. Um, any questions? Very good. So really quickly, your um, budget notebooks should just stay here because what will happen um, is this: you'll you'll have your uh, alpha budget which is in the last tab it says v1 that's mm -hmm. version one and what i did was actually for all intents and purposes complete the budget and what you have is essentially a budget with every cell filled not that i am setting those cells but most of them are flatlined right or anticipated reasonably anticipated increases or decreases for instance interest payments as uh, interest uh, components of payments that go down while the principal stays the same so you see some fluctuations that are real um, <coughs> we'll see that this budget as it stands is roughly a 3.6% increase over last year's budget as it stands. So and some of those costs are things just things going up in price, right? Like the audit, for example. Well, the audit is a, is, is a $500. Right, but I'm just saying that yeah. we don't have a lot of control mm -hmm. over the, the cost because it just is what it is. It is costs go up. 
so you will, um, so again, this was not meant to, to do your budget for you. You certainly mm -hmm. are going to be doing it for yourselves, but it is a beginning point, and you can then take a look at your various committees and commissions mm -hmm. and plug it in. And what I think would be very useful is if you make any, but as you go forward with your select board meetings, as you make those changes, hand them to me. I will key them in, leave your notebooks, make whatever, you, they have your names in them, make whatever notes you want to. And when you come back the next time, you will see the budget in the next tab that you, the budget changes mm -hmm. that you made the previous meeting. And that way you will have a history of your budget development from right. time to time. And as Sandra, I met with Sandra to go over some of this stuff on Thursday, and she pointed out that where are our loans? Where are lo our loans on there, Sandra? Uh, the town loans are at, um, whoops, are at page six or something? I think. Yep. Long term. Or on yeah. page six. Now, what yeah. I, I wanted you to, because she pointed out, and I, I think this is good for us to see, when some of these bonds will be paid off. And we have. Um, in FY22, the deficit loan will be paid off, but that means that it's paid off in FY22, which is July 1st of 2020, right? 2020 time. No, at the end of FY22 is June 30th, 2022. So right. that would open up roughly $60,000 in the budget for FY23. Right. That's yep. two years away. Right. So I just think it's I think it's nice just to see, you know, we're making progress on some of this. The town office bond, FY25, which means FY26. Mm-hmm. And will. so on. Um, the renovation loan for the town hall, same thing. FY last payment is June 30. 2023, so going into FY 24, that's paid off. So I, I just, it made me feel good to see that things are kind of like when your mortgage is getting down and you pay paid it off a little by little. And right. what the, the point in this is to help the board, I think, try and, um, uh, you know, I'm here collecting taxes day after day and mm -hmm. People are very excited about the town hall, absolutely. And so we hear all good things about that, and that's a great thing. But as we're collecting taxes, we also hear about people's feelings about their taxes. Mm -hmm. at, at, so we hear real, thing, real, real, real stuff. Yeah. And a lot of it is coming from older folks on fixed incomes who are really struggling with um, Mm -hmm. figuring out how to manage increases that exceed their Indeed. increases or right. if they even get any so right. I thought that I could um, that and working families trying to you know up. work in two and three four jobs sometimes between between a couple to just make ends meet so I, I thought it would be of interest to the board to see where things will fall off and any mm -hmm. long-term large expenses where where they may be able to be plugged in without the mm -hmm. budget really getting jacked up year after year. Just just a thought there. Sandra, did you go ahead. Did you um, did you put in a placeholder for the increase in health insurance? I did. Mm -hmm. And that is an actual number by the way. Yeah. So where health insurances that's on page page nine. That's for the highway, right? Uh, that is probably for the highway. That but it's the been. same percentage increase for everybody. Correct? Yes. So what you see on page three, general government, you'll see the projected about three quarters of the way down. Medical insurance sell. It, it is up by $6,085. And what I did with that 
is I maintain the status quo mm -hmm. at this point. You mean the current plan? That we the have. current plan mm -hmm. that we have, I simply maintained it. I maintained the contribute the employees share of the contribution. Mm -hmm. The HRA went up a titch. I showed that. Dental, I projected they're kind of on average going up by 3%, um, and that is all in that mm. cell. Now, same um, thing with the highway. How, how do we go from 12% to 3%? 12% of what? I, um, where are you? No, the number in my head is that, is that health insurance is going up 12%. But it isn't a 12% across every plan. Okay. So it just so happened that this this is the So that, that's increase. like the press release from, from the state. It's not what's applied to us. Got it. Well, and I had sent an email around, which nobody responded to, to see if we wanted to get Kelly, Kelly Avery from VLCT to come in and talk about health insurance. I was going to try to set it up for this meeting, but nobody got back to me, so. Well, I had, um, there. there's a new plan called the Blue Edge Plan that Blue Cross Blue Shield um, was also pitching, and I had them do a quote for us, and it just was higher than, even, even than this. And Kelly hmm. uh, made a very... Kelly Avery? Kelly Avery, yes, yeah, said just toss it. But um, it, it just was an outrageous mm. premium. But these numbers are based on the coverage sheets. So obviously things have dipped depending on your plan. Mm -hmm. They have gone up. The plan that we had, um, because there are uh, other conversations going <coughs> on about benefits and salary, I just went across the board and mm -hmm. kept everything the same right, uh, right. without any further well, conversation or But wasn't it last year we made a change? Did we make a change last year based on last year, some good advice from you? Well, yeah, and Blue Cross Blue Shield. Mm -hmm. Last year we went to the gold CDHP plan. Right. Um, our costs were contained. Um, the premiums were lower. And um, we at, we saved money last year on switching to mm -hmm. that plan and also adjusting the employee employer contribution rate. But again, I maintain that mm -hmm. in view of the context that the right. board finds itself in at this time. But <laughs> you kind of maintained it, but you increased the budget line, assuming that same plan with an actual number from Blue Cross or what that increased. Exactly. Right. Yes. Yeah. Those are actual numbers. If if you if, if, we if you went we across done. the board, yeah. that would that number would stick mm -hmm. in that cell and not be changed. Okay. So, so premiums to go down by fifteen percent on disability. You know, I wonder about that. Our premiums have gone down, and I can't help but wonder if, they're, if they've been adjusted as people age or... It, I, I really don't get it. There's no explanation? It, it, it may already have gone down is what I think. Oh, okay. So, but it's a relatively small number, yes. so the 15% is pretty small. Yeah. Now, so that brings me to a question on the invoices that are in the folder. And I was going to ask you about these. It says Blue Cross Blue Shield, and then it lists like $64.56 and $193.91. But what is this? Wait a minute. $7,755. What is that? Oh, that's the town's portion. That's the town's portion of the um, premium for the month. For the month? Yes. Well, that's for six people. Wow. <coughs> so that's the town's okay. portion. That is factored into both of those cells. But okay. so as payroll occurs, mm -hmm. those the system automatically. So then, what are these moves. little? So then, what are these little amounts? Those are the employees' contributions. Okay. Wow, that's a lot. Do we have this in Excel somewhere? I, I do. That's a P, that's a PDF. Right. That's what I figured. Yeah, I'll be working with the Excel sheet. I I have to. We don't want any. We don't want multiple Excel sheets floating around. That it's really dangerous. Yeah, there's it's, too many cells. No, I understand. Well, okay. On the other hand, 
Um, we're going to leave these notebooks here. Sure, but we are, but we don't have we don't have the tools that we need to, you know, in okay. in real in real time, play play with configurations and see what the impact is. Um, I would like to see a column that shows the percentage of increase so that we can, you know, that's a that's an eyeball that I think is important to pay attention to, even though I understand some lines are small numbers. But as we as we really get into the can we add a column? We can, we can but that. then your comment column, I, I had that column and I took it out mm -hmm. because there was no room for your comment column, which you guys refer to very frequently sure. last year. Mm -hmm. you can't, yeah. we, can't, we don't even have to if we expand the we, mark. I mean, we can. It just makes your, it just takes up room. That's well, I think, if it, I think if it's helpful to board members, then maybe. I can do that. We should do that. that be helpful? What, what I would say is this is, it, again, this is your alpha budget. You haven't even worked with this budget yet. Mm -hmm. So you don't have anything to add or subtract or change or have any mm -hmm. configurations that you're going to be working with. You haven't met with your commissions. And as you right. add your numbers in, then I can send you a live spreadsheet to fool around with. Thank but you. at this okay. point, yeah, that, that's that not good. that's not the issue. But this is just kind of like just okay. to get started. No, it's okay. just to get started. Right. Yeah. Eventually, I mean, we did get to the point where we were we were playing with yeah playing with numbers absolutely in real sure. time last year. Needed, yeah, yeah, and we needed to be able to see the impact. Yeah. But if we could have just, I mean, it wouldn't take what maybe five spaces oh, I, I, a percentage I, oh yeah we can I did okay? I did yeah. and it just made the comment section so small I pulled it out yeah Be, I just did there, there's a call there any, I can put it back in is there any way I'm sorry because I know you put so much work into this I'll here. say it really appreciate can we it. have the header on every page yeah I did that too okay <laughs> that was what I was gonna say I, I, know, I, I was did like that. did you see me writing it in on every one like, why am I doing this no, I so so your next your so next, your can your next loaded budget will have headers on somehow yes to freeze frame, I know you and yeah. I talked about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I realized it hadn't carried. I thought I had freeze framed it. I printed it. I made the copies and uh, I did. And I right, that's I fine. made the adjustment. We're good. We don't want to waste all that paper. No, I actually, I really did. It's not a waste. <laughs> it's really helpful. <laughs> it's helpful. <laughs> your next one will have it. I swear, and it will have your percentage Thank column you, too. Thank no you. trouble. Cliff. Yeah, I definitely agree. Having the percentage column is helpful, as well as the header on every page. The other request I would like to make is, can we have a pagination like you have in the um, general ledger, where it'll say page three of eleven? Oh, I think I think it will do that. Yeah, it should. Page one of. I, I can or, select that. I can select yeah. that. Yeah, sure. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> no trouble. So this, the overall budget, then the overall budget with some of the stuff that you've put in, is three point six percent increase. Yes, and by the way, uh, I, I do want to say that the, the numbers in the highway section are actually, they, they, that is their yeah, real-time proposal. Toby right? gave you those, right? Did you work on it with Toby? Yeah, I showed you. Okay. So that, that is actually the, their submission. Okay. I thought um, we specifically <coughs> asked not for that. You no, we said we said not for salaries and benefits. <coughs> I think that they could be working on other parts of the budget, like equipment and okay, and I so because some of those things you didn't really know. And so the increase that we're seeing doesn't. Oh, it include every cell is filled. No, not salaries and benefits. But the, it is filled for purposes of getting a flavor for what he's thinking. Who, yeah. Toby? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. yeah. He ignored our request. Oh, I yeah. didn't notice that. Well, that's what I'm seeing here. I had a question on page 11. I just want to say that out loud. <coughs> that's really under the um, yes, cross capital right. expenses. Is it possible in the comment hey, videos that you can, before we move on? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Just hold your thought because okay. so we don't have to come back to it. We just need to say out loud that, that the select board specifically requested. Of the of the road commissioner and operations manager and the town office staff, to not to fill this in, not to get ahead of our process around salaries and wages because we don't want to be caught in a situation where there's an expect an externally created expectation. Expect ex, when I say external, I mean external from the board, 
and it seems that we have that, and so we need to say out loud that I'm this really, this has no no it means nothing. Right. I'm really it frustrated that nothing. the directive that came from the board, and you can put this in the minutes, the directive that came from the board that I put in an email and CC'd all the board members, office staff, highway staff, and said specifically, do not do this. It was done anyways. Okay, now, <coughs> now you can make your point. Uh, is your that question. enough point? Absolutely. Yeah. It's really not okay. But that was ignored. Specific request and direction. Which we do not do very but, often. But he's not here. Yes. No, but it's in the minutes. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Rose. Okay, <laughs> Rose. Now, let me... I didn't lose my thought. I had my pen there. So <laughs> on page 11, um, under capital expenses, those are the um, heavy equipment payments and whatnot. And Is it possible on the right hand side under the comments to say when they they they? they're going to go? Yeah. Yeah, just when like they're getting off. Sure. They, the highway has been it, artful, I have to say. Yeah, when so one what? payment, artful, oh. and managing their There's payments, artful. artful. When one payment goes off, one payment goes on, right. and um, bumps in, you know, there's a $1,500 $1, difference uh, between FY20 and FY21. Um, a lot of that has to do with the fact that equipment just costs more over time, and they, but they've done a very good job. Yeah, the capital replacement fund is like that, and when that one's paid off, yeah, I can do that. You know, if it's not too much of a bother, it isn't. It's not. Okay, this is really really helpful. It's very nice. Thank you, Sandra. Nice. Very, and I can't promise you I'm not going to take mine home. But I'm here. But she's I'm, here all the time. So. Right. But you're here all the time. The only reason is I want to be able to update it mm -hmm. after your after your meeting. So what you would find is you have, I think you have eight meetings all together, mm -hmm. and you have it just so happens there are eight tabs. And so if you make changes, for instance, mm -hmm. the to the budget tonight, <laughs> you strike this or add that, or you actually mm -hmm. add a number in, then your next budget when you come mm -hmm. in the next time you will see all of the changes that you have just requested stylistically but you will also see your numbers change as and well so like tonight when we're meeting with cemetery mm -hmm. to talk about their budget or conservation when they come in you'll, you'll just, mark it up you'll hand it to me and I'll make those it. changes and then I'll put it behind a tab that says it was from that meeting night okay. Now, um, we want to hear from John about cemetery, but I did want to see if anybody had any further thoughts, questions, ideas, comments about? Um, in the, it might be helpful if we, in the um, select board section of the Google Drive, we created a budget folder and populated it with this calendar so that the select board can refer to that. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Do you, who does that? I can, I can help you with that if you want. I, I have, um, and I wonder if we should access that. I don't know really how to so do that. So, can, and also it might be helpful to have a Google folder hey. that's just FY, what are we going to be in, FY21? That we're planning for FY21 to have a folder that's just says budget FY21 select board so that any of us can go into that folder and see, you know, where we're at, make comments. Can you create yeah. something like that, Katie? Yeah. And Sandra, do you know how to put the documents in that? No. You can send them to Katie. Yeah. She okay. takes care Katie's of all that for me. Wonder Woman. Yeah. She does. So that. you want it in the Callus SB agendas and minutes, or do you want it external? I think we should that? have a separate folder. Okay, so do you, I mean, it's up to you guys. I don't really care. Yeah, no, no it's, it's what time. works for everybody. That's what works. Does that, that work for everybody? For everybody. That yeah. way, anytime you want to look at budget stuff, you just have to go into that folder. You don't have to go to from agenda so, folder to agenda folder. So if you go to the Google Drive where mm -hmm. you see the select board agenda, there is a budget folder. Mm -hmm. So we can create a subfolder within <coughs> that. It'll be 
Um, I think we can clean it up, Katie, and mm -hmm. archive old stuff yeah. and then have it fresh right. folder for FY21. Yeah, because I see 16, 17. Right. You just dump it all into an archive folder. Right, and then we just want to be looking at FY21, but it be it will also be handy probably to go back and look sometimes at previous right. budgets if we need to. Mm -hmm. Could you send me, could you share the budget folder with me because I don't currently mm -hmm. have access to it. Okay, and then it'd be better if I create the folders within it so I can move documents within it. Okay. okay. I'll give Thank you the you. full okay. access. Thank right. you. Thank you. Um, do we want to do Sullivan and Powers contract right now? Or do you want to let John? Samantha, go ahead. Do you want to go ahead, John? Shall I go? No, no, no. Are you done? No. Oh, OK. Because <laughs> he's going to give us some budget. John. OK. Is Fletcher or anybody coming, too, or just you? I don't know the rest of my career. <laughs> I don't know. So your budget? They would be in transfers out. Transfers out really um, translate into um, special articles. So that's page eight. Page eight. Okay. Yes. So we had budgeted for FY. 20, which is what we're in, 40,500, correct? That's what we had this year, okay? And the upcoming year, we want to come up to uh, 40, uh, let's see, 40,500. No, that's what you have this year? Yeah. So you're, you're yeah. same, same amount, no change? That's what we got this year. I thought you said you were. We want to, we want to increase it to 49.5. Okay. What's the percentage on that, John? It's like 18 percent. <laughs> no, it's fantastic. Yeah. 49,500. 49.5. Now, did you overspend in FY20? I have a sheet here of stuff that I, for the left, uh, what's left of the money for the cemeteries between now and the. In the June. In the June, yeah. How much you have left? Uh, almost uh, thirty thousand, I think it is. Really? Well, we have some uh, burial receipts of uh, forty-four, uh, four thousand four hundred fifty. Uh, we had some unspent uh, uh, appropriations, uh, which is seventeen thousand, and we had uh, a remaining fund. Our regular budget, 219, 220, uh, $8,401. Well, that's, that's, um, that's, that's not your most current. That's your, that. re your, your budget is negative 500 and some odd dollars for FY20 at, as of October, as of your meeting in a, a mm -hmm. couple of last week. So you don't have any money left. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're, our budget for 219 220 was 40500 Right. Okay. But it sounds like you've already spent that much? Uh, no, I haven't. I have $8,000 left of that budget. The not actual hard. budget, okay? That's Did not you hear what Sandra said? Did you hear what Sandra said? What's that? So John, I did your budget for you for your last meeting in yes, last you did. week. Yep. You so did you did had well. thank you. You had your budget for yep. FY19. Yeah. 1920. And then your actual expenditures. Yeah. And yep. you your budget shows a negative of five hundred dollars. But you have remaining the rollover money from the previous year right. to get you through yeah. the mm -hmm. end of FY20. Is that the, is that the 11 eight? Um, I don't know what you're looking at. I'm looking at page eight of 
Oh, I pulled these figures, but off that sheet you gave it. Oh, well, let's just get, why don't we just pull that sheet right here? Right. Is this this one right here? That's it. Yeah. So I just make that piece? So we're seeing, yeah, so this shows budget to actual for 2019 was, was mm -hmm. oddly exact, which is what I guess we're saying really isn't the case, Sandra. Right. Um, She's saying that he, that cemetery is overspent by 500, but there was some rollover money. Um, Did you get a new building today? Or no. The, your budget was $40,500. That's right. Yep. And you have spent $41,000 of it. But there's still money to the good in the cemetery budget of $20,000. And you don't mean in the budget, you mean like in the cemetery? In the cemetery that's the that has rolled over. So right, okay. Because yep. we have a rolled reserve fund. Right. They have, a, they have mm -hmm. money that rolls over from yeah, year to year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Would it help you to look at that? Thank you. Is there enough? Yeah. So uh, there's 20000 even though you're over budget by 500 you still have available for expenses Almost, 20, almost, 20, almost 21. No, I thought it was not really 20. No. Wait, hang on, though. This is FY20. Right, which is what we're in. No, I understand that. I thought okay. you were talking about FY19. So, okay. I, I oh, no, the, not FY19. I thought you were thinking right off the street here, but this one's different. So. What do you have? We want to have a, a budget for. Uh, Forty-nine thousand five hundred. That's like an eighteen percent. It's in, twenty-two. I was trying to figure that out today, and uh, Sanders figured it out as eighteen. We've been taking uh, five hundred dollars every time we mow the uh, Popple Hills, okay? And I figured six uh, mowings on that, and that's going to cost three thousand dollars, okay? Six times five hundred. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's five hundred dollars more, uh, six hundred, three thousand dollars more in our budget that we didn't have. Okay, but we only approved <coughs> the, the town. The voters approved fifteen hundred additional monies we, to we go towards Poplar Hill. We never used that then. Well, how it went was this. The Cemetery Commission asked for an appropriation of $39,000 for FY20. And in between the time that that appropriation was uh, formulated, Poplar Hill Cemetery was taken on. Mm -hmm. And a request for $1,500 for Poplar Hill Cemetery was also on the warning, right, and that's when they were in it. Um, He's not there. It, that's right. when, but that's when they were an independent cemetery. But but by the time we got to town meeting, right, they were no longer an independent cemetery. Our commission decided to take it over. They withdrew the article and increased the amount right. of the cemetery appropriation figure by fifteen hundred dollars because I got out the minutes from last town meeting and that is exactly what happened we um, where did it go we increased the cemetery's request um, for thirty nine the voters shall appropriate thirty nine thousand for the operation and maintenance of the town cemeteries um, we increased Jennifer made an amendment to raise the amount to forty thousand five hundred. That's correct. And pass over Article Seven, which was the fifteen hundred. So they were appropriated forty thousand five hundred. Correct. Yeah. Now was that on an article? Yes. Okay, so we go to the voters for our article. Correct. <laughs> um, but you know, people are going to ask why an eighteen percent increase. And it is actually, it is 9,000 divided by 40,500 is 22. Actually, we've been operating on the, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, 18, 22, it's a lot. Yeah. And can you, I mean, I thought it was wrong, but this is what you did there, but it, but it, it really isn't. No, it's not. <laughs> it really, it really well, is what it is. It's I looked at it and 40,000, okay. 
if you had 10% more on 40,000, you would have 50,000. Yeah, but that's a 25% increase, 10, right? Because 10,000 more, 10,000 10, 10, 10, 10, is 25% yeah. of 40,000. So if you were to add 10,000 more, you're adding actually, it, you're adding 25%, but you're only adding nine. So it's 22%. Okay. Ish. So let me ask you okay. this. So the increase is that to be able to pay Jennifer as Sexton? Yes. The other Sexton got uh, a, a wage of uh, $2,400. Right. Okay. And uh, we figured she does a lot of work. She does a ton of stuff. Doing a lot of tree, uh, you know, takes a lot of calls. Mm -hmm. And we thought that was. Uh, Okay. Mm -hmm. 2400 2400 yeah. So do you have a proposed budget? Is that what you're looking at right there? Well, I, uh, I had a budget for finishing off this year's budget, okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, pretty much your cemetery work for this season is done well, takes until, up the, uh, until May, right? Right now, it's pretty good. And it's, uh, it's taking care of itself. And uh, so we're getting... So really you won't have to do anything until like next April, May, correct? No. And you've already... It's all being taken care of by the uh, person that does the uh, grounds and stuff. He's still mowing now? No. It's, it's cutting off the end of, end of this month. I would think. It's about six months, okay? And it's mm -hmm. something like uh, $4,250 per mowing for all of them. Then we gotta add the three thousand uh, the five hundred dollars per uh, proper okay. I like I like your Denise was starting I like where Denise was going a second ago, John, that she asked if you have a proposed budget and it sounds like you have a proposed number, but well, it, it, it comes Just about, to, let me look here. Okay. We're looking to see why it's going, you know, what pieces of the budget are going up. Okay, here's mowing contract for, for six months is $3,000, uh, $30,000, I'm sorry. But for six months, it's $30,000 to mow? Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. But this past year, you only spent... This is only a portion... Oh, okay, right, because we don't have next Because seasons. you'll have May and June that will hit this budget. This is not an entire season for them. Right. It will, the expenditures will slow down or stop mm -hmm. or yeah. sub for a yeah. few months and then yeah. kick up again right. so, until we get to the end. So Joe Magnum, Magnum, yeah. yep. all I can think of is Magnum PI. Um, is he raising his fees? No, it's going to stay the same. So this is for July through October, July? August, September, October. Okay, so. It's about $5,000. Uh, uh, and that's to mow 5000 a month to mow yeah. all of these yep. cemeteries. Yep. yep, that's correct. So. Yeah. We got a good thing, a good call, a mm -hmm. call on the place. It's really looking good. We also uh, washed all of the uh, monuments and mm -hmm. the old part and the new part this year. Yeah, I mean, you get a lot of nice comp compliments on the how oh, nice the cemeteries look. I'm just concerned about 22 percent increase. That's a lot for people to. Well, I kind of looked at it and said to myself, huh? there's only six uh, six thousand dollars being in uh, because we've been taking that extra uh, whatever five thousand dollars out for. Five thousand from yep. what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The five thousand from what? From one. Yeah. You know. And then you're looking to pay. How much are you looking to pay the sexton? Uh, a year. Twenty four hundred. <clears throat> yeah. Where is that in this? It's she's not getting paid right now, so it. So she, the money that we're getting. Do, it's probably going to come out at twenty. So. The former sexting was getting paid twenty four hundred dollars a year, which was in the in the budget. And when that person no longer 
was doing it, Jennifer took it on free of charge. Mm -hmm. So that other money, that $2,400 got absorbed somewhere else in the budget, probably mowing. Uh, um, some, something like that. Well, by, by way of, uh, let's just back up a little bit. The cemetery commission actually cut their budget by almost ten thousand dollars between FY nineteen and FY twenty. That's true. And so, it, maybe that was an appropriate reduction, and maybe that was too much of a reduction. I think that was probably too much of a reduction at the time. Yeah. It looking at the budget. Looking at it, it now, was, it yes. seems like. Anyways, that's all water over the dam right now. Because so we this, need to figure out how to, and I mean, it's gonna be up to you guys to sell it to the voters at town meeting, because it's gonna yeah. be a separately warned item. Right. Um, and normally people are supportive of the cemeteries. Yeah. But I think we have to, and you already know this, you guys need to be prepared to answer questions about the increase, because people mm -hmm. will ask when it's that significant. That's fine. No. They've asked before. Right. And, uh, but I think the town report goes back a couple of years on the budget stuff. And two years ago it was at uh, fifty thousand, I think. It was at forty nine thousand. Right. 49, and then you dropped it to thirty nine thousand. So now yep. you're going yep. back up basically so, to and where you probably they need to be mm -hmm. if they need to be there. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like you're going back up to where you were before you dropped it. And I think you dropped it because you thought Savings on the sexton and, mm -hmm. and the mowing and the and, mowing and being nickel and dime on you know renting this renting the weed whacker that. yeah 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 all that stuff. <clears throat> so you're gonna when will the cemetery commission have figures to give to Sandra with the wording for an article? Um, or should I send you a reminder on email and CC the rest of the well, commission? We may meet next, uh, we're going to meet again one more time, I guess. I have to when is that? You meet towards the, you meet like the third, towards, uh, third Wednesday of the month, right? Yeah. Is it third Wednesday you meet? Yeah, uh, fourth, fourth okay. Wednesday. So I will send you a reminder right. so that you can get your article ready and mm -hmm. your figures ready, and I'll see, see mm -hmm. the rest of the board so they know right. that yep. You have to do this. It's only about ten thousand dollars, you know, to work with, really. Right, but when people aren't getting caught, people aren't getting wage increases of twenty two mm -hmm. percent. Yeah. So that's the that's the dilemma when you try to explain mm -hmm. it. They don't. You just you're gonna have to remind them that last year you cut it ten thousand, and maybe that was too much, and now you need mm -hmm. that money again. Yeah. We've also washed all those uh, cemetery monuments. In the past five years, they're all done. Right, yep. And uh, we're thinking about doing Poplar Hill. Yeah, it's looking sharp. For the record, the next Cemetery mm -hmm. Commission meeting is scheduled for November Wednesday, November 20th. 7 p.m. Okay, I will send, I'm making myself a note to send you a reminder, John. Okay. You want to itemize the. Uh, yeah, we're gonna yeah we're gonna have to have an article, and then Sandra's gonna need the figures for the for the budget. Yeah. yeah. You paid something else before I got here. That's what you did on this side. Um, I paid something else. Yeah, you paid for a bill or two today, I guess, or something. Uh, right. No, you're. Uh, This is what you looked at at your last meeting on October 23rd. So yep. these were all right. of your expenses yep. as of mm -hmm. that day. And behind it, I also put all of your expenses were itemized for you so you could refresh your memories as to what you spent and on who. Mm -hmm. I think mine was different or something. No. Uh -huh. well, what's that? Okay. No, this was the one. Yeah, yeah see, in FY19, you had 49000 mm -hmm. FY20 was thirty nine. Mm -hmm. um, Alrighty. 
Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Thank you so much for all your work on the cemeteries. We've been waiting to hear something out of the West Church, but we didn't get much, no information at all. On what? For their job for the fences and stuff. Oh, uh, does that come out of your budget? Well, one seems so. It's a cemetery, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We went over there and met with uh, did you meet with the board there? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's one board I'm not on. Design your or whatever it was. Yeah. All right. Any other stuff on the cemetery, folks? Anything else, John, from you? Everything's good? No, no I think. It's working out fine with this new person, right? Yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Except it sounds like it's not, it's not, we're not saving this week, so I think no. we might. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, John. Thanks, John. Yeah. All right, so you will send Sanders figures? Or do you have figures, Sandra? Do you have anything? For Sanitary, did they give you any figures yet? No. No. It, they, they're asking for the appropriation, and um, uh -huh. behind that appropriation, presumably, would be a budget. Mm -hmm. right. In support of it, so we, I don't have that. Which is basically enough, another couple of columns on this is what we're talking about, right? Yeah. 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 We got a couple more bills. Mm -hmm. You had your marker bills, and uh, you may have paid the October million bill. All righty then. <laughs> we're ready to move on to the next agenda item, which is the Sullivan and Powers. Um, I can't believe we've used them for what, two years now. Thank you, John. Good night, John. Good night, John. Good night, John. Good night. Thank you. Um, we've used them for two years. Three years. Has it been three? They did. It. Well, no. Well, it's they been did two. two years. They did two years. They did two last years. Year, right. Seventeen and eighteen, and then right. nineteen. So their new contract is basically, and I skimmed it. But basically, the long and the short of it is that um, it's going up $300 in FY21 and $200 in FY22 for their fee to do the audit, which probably, like any other business, it accounts for salaries, insurance, and those kinds of things. Because actually, it should be getting easier to do our audit, not yeah. harder, right? And they're coming on. I'm pretty sure it's not harder. And they're coming <laughs> to the board meeting on November 11th. Correct. Do you know? That's confirmed. Okay. Do you know for sure what time that is? Well, I, I told him to at agenda. seven, but so he would be prepared in that area of time, mm -hmm. and then you could we can narrow that down as you prepare your agenda. If you say have him come in at seven thirty. Okay. Uh, at least he's he's prepared for seven, and he can. Yeah, I just don't know later. what other stuff there might be on the eleventh that we might want to do quickly. Um, so I'll check in with you. Okay. Before two percent. So that's not bad, right? No, but you want to know, you know. Why? Well, it's like, who was it that we looked at last year? It could have been the solid waste management district. Somebody that was level or maybe the VLCT do somebody that we remarked you know they're level funded they are finding efficiencies and building efficiencies in on their end so that they're not right Central Vermont Solid Waste Management hasn't had an increase for a while neither has Kellogg Hubbard Library um, so people are doing it but you know eventually eventually yeah eventually people are going to cry uncle really sure sure um, um, but we're only two years in and it's getting easier. I would think, but we can ask the auditors that. Is it? I, I, I think it's the same. You, I, I'm not, I can't speak for them. No, we can ask them. But you can ask them any questions you yeah. want. Yeah. Yeah. Is it getting easier? I think they put in the same amount of time. It's, mm -hmm. it's more money. They're keeping track of more money the, by, very, by the simple fact that I'm collecting more money mm -hmm. and there's more money in grants rolling through the town, so they're double checking. Mm -hmm. Sheer numbers are more. 
And we have Nemrick doing our monthly audit, audit yes. which is working out fine. That is working out well. Yeah, and it's not and it's not costing us as much per month as we had thought. Correct. So we've got a little bit of savings there, that but I don't has, want to that I don't want budget. Easier. And I don't want us to think about budgeting too much less because you never know. I mean it's a, a line item we can look at, I think. We've got a little bit of a history of how much it's costing a little Right around 300 right a month. I want to check on her hourly rate yeah. to see if, if they have increased the hourly rates there. Right. But um, she, <coughs> the, the most important thing is for her to reconcile our accounts and also to double check the jur general journal entries that are made. So when I say I take, I book property taxes to a liability account, mm -hmm. that, that's done the money doesn't move in the operating account, but it moves from one budget item to another budget item. And I think you understand that. Mm -hmm. I mean, one budget item is a revenue, one budget item is an we owe. So um, those general journal entries from the, an internal control standpoint need to be reviewed. So she's going to do that. And what she will also do, Denise, is send you her report directly. She's been sending it directly to me, so she will be carbon. She will be copying you on the email, so you and I will get it at the same time. Okay. And they're very satisfied with that. The audit had no material deficiencies, and the journal entry oversight was the only and that was significant the, that deficiency, was the, and we may not see that because he was entirely happy with having. Well, that was a quick oversight. transition issue, right? You said. N no. What what we're talking about is um, deficiencies mm -hmm. in internal controls, and I'm not sure we're going to see any this year. No, they didn't have anything, and I read their audit letter. They didn't really have anything. No, just the journal entries. Right. Who's going to look at the journal entries? And so Nimrick will look at Nimmerk the journal will look at that, entries, and then, the, and then email. Any comments that they may have questioning a journal entry to both of us? To yes. Okay, that makes and you sense. will get that simultaneously yeah. with me. And S and P is happy. With so that. as we're looking for board <coughs> members, as we're looking at budget ink line items, um, <coughs> currently as of October twenty third, we budgeted six thousand for this. The auditor, the monthly auditor, which happens to be Nemrec doing it for us, we budgeted six, and we've spent 875. So I think that gives us a little wiggle room when we're looking at next year's budget. We don't want to short ourselves because then we'll be sorry we did, but um, we do have a little bit of room, I think. That's the that's the. But if you could check and see if they're increasing their. If they're going to increase their fees, then we have to, you know, make sure we take that into account. Well, the first couple, I think she billed out five hundred dollars, but these last couple of yeah, the last one was two hundred eighty-one. I was going to say the last one was two hundred eighty-one because <coughs> that's what's getting easier. Right. So you're going to check to see if they are going to increase their hourly rates at all. Mm -hmm. That number, okay. What is the hourly rate? Did you say that already? No, I don't recall that all the time. Oh, the invoices are yeah. maybe, yeah. In your, I think, are in your orders right now. Just curious. Yeah, I don't remember what it was. I looked at it. But I don't know. Yeah, off the top of my head. I don't all know. right, so, ladies and gentlemen, do you want to continue our contract with Sullivan and Powers and sign the new engagement letter? Okay, we'll need a motion to do that. So moved. Second. Any further discussion? Comment? Does this include the the three hundred dollar increase? Mm -hmm. We're so we're approving that now. Um, yes. When does this have to be back to them? I don't think there was a time limit on it. So because if you wanted to so ask we could, him questions, we could wait until. November after November 11th when we meet with them. Mm -hmm. If you'd rather do that, we can. We can yeah, do that, I right? feel like that's a good practice. Even you know, just to. Okay, should I give this back to you so I don't lose it? Sure. 
So let's postpone signing this then until November 11th if you would like to withdraw your motion. I can withdraw it or I can say, yeah, I'd like the friendly amendment. The friendly amendment to wait until, okay, so I'll make that friendly amendment. Okay, I agree with that just in one second. <coughs> So the, the new the, the new amendment is to wait until after November. So we struck the old one and yeah. replaced it with an amendment. Okay, I'll second that. All right, all those in favor, please say aye. Uh, aye. Aye. Any aye. opposed? Say, um, please, we want to make a friendly amendment to postpone. Sign so vote. To, no, postpone signing. Got it. The, mm -hmm. Got it. In wait, 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 wait. No, it was to postpone the approval. Right, postpone. which is the approval of signing the engagement letter. Right. Which was of the original. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're going to take care of that. Um, so in other words, after we meet with him, we'll then we'll decide to right. approve the contract because we can ask him. Right. We I mean, decide. really, in the big picture yeah. of things, it's a few hundred dollars, but we right. should <coughs> make sure we understand why. All right. So I have a couple of questions for you on one of these. Um, what are you, what are what are we looking at? I'm looking at. The warrants to sign. Okay. Are we done with? I don't want to confuse things. No. Go ahead. Are we done. Okay. Um, Delta Dental. The numbers that you have on here are not, and there's probably I'm sure there's an explanation for it. Oh wait a minute. This doesn't make, you're going to have to go over here. Okay. Sorry. On the bill, it shows, I'm sorry to nitpick these. It shows these amounts. Mm -hmm. Per person. And this shows these amounts. Right. 3512, so, and this is 3719. So these are payroll deductions. <coughs> and you can see they're each week. Mm -hmm. So every week it's a, it, it, it's a it's the same deduction and it's a cumulative deduction for all six employees who are purchasing oh, but additional insurance but highway gets paid every week and everybody else and, and so every, does everybody the else. town office okay, so, so I guess my question is why why do these numbers because they're not based on a person they're based on a total combination of all employees that are purchasing additional insurance. So, for instance, uh, I don't like, uh, so one in uh, employee purchases, yeah, I'm not going to say names, one employee purchases insurance to cover family. Mm -hmm. And there's an additional premium for the family mm -hmm. that that person contributes to, and another person doesn't purchase any insurance at all for any additional people, just their own which is just but the town provides right, that right. and then you might have another employee who just purchases additional insurance for one person which is different mm -hmm. than insurance for a family so every week the employee's contribution cumulatively is mm -hmm. $35.12 but that reflects the contribution of all six employees who have made various contributions. And how do you, then what that is that? That is the town's portion. That is what the town pays for all six employees. Okay, and these are folks that have additional. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. And so what we have to send them is that amount of money every month. Mm -hmm. But it's broken up into the budget like this. Right, this is the highway and this is mm -hmm. the office. Mm -hmm. okay. <clears throat> okay, one more question. Sure. Consolidated. And this shows, what, what phone number is the business phone 4561038? We don't have any of that. We don't have a number like that. Can I see? Or, is it, or does it kind of roll over? Is it the town's? Uh, I don't know. This is. It wait. This you, office. Huh? It comes from this office. It rolls over to you then? Well, I just know that I recognize that number from caller ID. So, but. Oh, okay. Just that comes from here. <coughs> it comes from here. We comes have, from here to the garage. Okay, gotcha. 
<laughs> no, no, no. He's saying, Denise, he's just saying when, that it's an outgoing mem number, like maybe a second line or whatever. It has nothing to do with the fact that you're getting call at the garage. You would see it. No, right. Going. I yeah. just recognize that number. Yeah. Oh, because I've never seen this office calling my shift with Tom But if you were at home and the caller ID, it'd be the same number. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Okay, because I've never had that show up on my phone, but. Okay, I just wonder what it's worth. Remember, the town office right. has Special four lines. Right. Now. So <laughs> each line has a number associated That's with it. That's right. Okay. And also, That's there's internet. So those bills are not only for the phone line and phone mm -hmm. service usage, but also for internet service okay. as well. All right. Do we have a bundle with them? We have a bundle for this office because there are multiple lines, but um, not for the highway. There's just one there's line. There's just one line. Actually, there's two, but... I'm just asking because I, um, I just dealt with Consolidated over the past several weeks. You're very good. Yeah. Well, it took several weeks. It's not a nice story. I'll skip you. I'll skip that. But... In the end, I'm getting bundled long distance local and internet for, and better internet for substantially reduced. From what you were paying? Yes. Oh, you're brave. For your business or for your home? For home. Home. See, and doing? this is a, these That's are commercial accounts, so. Okay. Well, I so thought about account. calling them, but she it gives me. Know. Sure it gives me a headache to think about calling them. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Just every once in a while, this is just you know public net service. Mm -hmm. but every once in a while, you want to call Consolidated and be grumpy about your phone bill, and then mm -hmm. get better. Yeah. They'll say, oh, we have promotion. You can get better internet and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You think they would just give it well, to We them? increased our, the <laughs> speed of our internet uh, uh, within Sorry. Think, the last six months. We were able to I do know. that. Too much, but right? It was really an incremental benefit to the office. Yeah. 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 So <coughs> anyways, so Toby dropped off these grant applications that he's going to apply for. Two better back roads ones. Do you want to hang on to these? Are, do you do, want these? Do you need to sign them? Or no. Are they completed? Is that the deal? I think so we're applying for. Yes. Those are the two grants that we were denied last year. And we were, it was recommended Why that we apply them? again this year. There's there just our copies. Oh, yeah, I'll oh, take them. So rather than me, hang on them and I, I have put the, them in the wrong I have grant files. Yeah. yeah. They're the one, and Dan Kerr, Toby said. Send in, don't they? Toby's going to take care of that as far as I can. Yep. Good to serve that's what he said. That's right. He just printed them off. He said Dan Courier called him and recommended that we reapply for those two specific grants. So he must know something. All right. Um, do you have something you were staying for for a discussion? I'm just curious about the union conversation, if I should be part of that or not. Oh, um, I have been playing telephone tag and email tag with Tim. Um, I had thought about trying to do it at a select board meeting, but he said that that generally doesn't probably work out as well. We should probably carve out a set time. So I was going to ask the board, and as long as you're here, <coughs> if nobody minds my skipping around the agenda, um, would, is anybody available to meet um, on November 4th, which is a Monday, at 6 or 7? <coughs> And I can throw out this date to him to start off the this union meeting stuff. I cannot. I'm committed to be with my mom that week for her knee replacement. So for the fourth year, no. I'm a I'm a no that whole week. I'm gone the whole week. Okay, Rose. What about you? Um, I could be here, but not until seven. Okay, so you, so you're a yes at seven. Mm -hmm. What about you, Cliff? I'm okay. I can attend either six or seven. Okay. I don't know. Of course, John's out sick. I definitely would hope that John could be there. For right. Sure. Yeah. And then also the other thing I thought of was, um, and I don't know, we're meeting on the 11th, but it's Veterans Day, and I don't know whether the union 
people work that day. But I thought maybe we could meet at 6 on the 11th, but I wanted to find out from Sharon. That's good for you, Rose? Mm -hmm. I think we said we would meet that night. Right, we're meeting for select board, but that's at 7. I was wanted to see if people were available at 6. Are you available, if, pretty available, if I schedule something? Because i got to ask them who should be part of this, so I don't even know. Right. Who includes? Um, I, I mean, it's a holiday for, for the highway, but I can like, probably be here, I guess. I, I just don't know my role in all this, this whole thing. Yeah, well, so. we got to find all that out. I think that's part of, we were going to try to have a conversation with Jim, but I assume that we get to decide who's here. Who's here and who's not? Who's yeah. here on who's our at the table? Who's on the management side? Right. That's really not up to them. I no. Would, we I mean, can have whoever we can want. can tell us we're wrong. Right. But are, are they asking for a meeting? I mean, are they? Yes. They're ready to have a meeting. To start this? I guess to start, start the process discussion. Or, I, mean, I just don't know. I don't well, know nothing. I just want to know. Alfred, before I jump we don't know this. either. We don't know either. That's why I'm trying to get a hold of this guy, because I have the exact same questions as you have, the exact okay. same questions. Because they haven't given us anything to tell us what the process is. Okay. And you would think that there'd be some kind of, they must have something to outline, to document what the process is, because those are my exact questions. Well, and also this is what we, we had this conversation last meeting, right, where we said, let's, there, we are ignorant. Right. And so. We don't know what their process is. Right, and also we want, we want to know, they're going to, I don't know, I, I wouldn't want to just take their word for it and here's what the process is. I would want to <coughs> run it by Jim, right? But I can't do that until I have something. There's got to be some kind of documentation because we can't be the first ones to ask what the process is. Um, they might assume that we've got our own management side expert lawyer and no. we've got somebody else telling us what the process is. Sandra checked with VLCT to see if they had a labor relations person there that, that they could recommend and they don't have anybody. So I'm going to check back in with Jim and see, you know, does he, is he going to be part of this process? Does he have somebody that he knows that he would recommend to us? That's what the VLCT thought right. to get, but see, get a, a lot referral of, right, to a lot of somebody moving, who does this. There's a lot of moving pieces. Nailing down a date would be helpful. That's why I'm asking about dates. Um, <coughs> Sharon, are you available at 6 on the 11th? Yep. I assume, Cliff, you are okay. Yes. Okay. A regular select board night would actually work better for me. Right, that's the 11th. But I'm looking to see, you know, maybe we want, need to meet at 6 or 5.30. I don't have any clue. As soon as I get any information and I talk to this guy, I'm going to type up conversation that I have with him and put it in an email back to him so that we can verify that I got understood correctly um, and we'll take it from there. He's a really hard guy to get a hold of. He's probably all over the place. Right about now if other towns are doing budgets and stuff. And he may be, depending on how this, this union works, I think there's a distinction between the organizer and the person. negotiator. Right, so you know that could be mm -hmm. there could be a hand up on that side. He, yeah, yeah, we have a lot to learn. Do you right. going to take out salaries uh, to delete the salary amount amounts in highway, highway and <coughs> general government or leave them in general government and delete well, it in Well, general, highway. I mean, whatever we had for salaries for last that. year. That's what I used. Right. Just the increase that, that. I didn't use any increase. I just no, but highway did. Oh, uh, highway. I can mm -hmm. take that out. Mm -hmm. I can put in, why don't I put in the same amount as last right. year's Let's put in, budget? Right. That's the starting point. Okay, so we can, we can do that. All right, is there anything else that we need to hold up Sandra and Alfred for? Not that you're not welcome to stay in our day. Participate in all the fun. Yes, no, I do enjoy it, but uh, yes. five o'clock comes early. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, but Alfred, so you're actually 
I'm um, voting for the 11th. But you're okay for the 4th if need be? I can make myself available. Okay. Thank you. It's just hard, you know, it's a holiday. I get involved in other things. Well, the 11th, the 11th is the holiday. The oh, 11th is the holiday. The regular meeting date is the holiday date. Okay. I'll be here for either one. You let me know. I'll make Thank sure you. That's right. what I wanted to hear. <laughs> I'll make it easy for you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Take care. Thank you. Good night. Take Thank care. you, Sandra. Okay. Thank you. 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 Yeah, a couple weeks. That will oh, be really? in two weeks. Mm -hmm. The U32 oh. uh, boys and girls teams mm -hmm. are going to represent Vermont mm -hmm. in, at the New England Festival. So that's the very exciting. And St. John's Bay boys and girls and CBU. I got, was going to try. You and Harwood. Uh, Harwood there boys are and girls six too. of them. Right. U32, Harwood, CBU. St. Johnsbury. St. Johnsbury, and I don't know. Who and there's two more, but but they may not always. It's interesting that for each of those four teams, it's boys and girls going because they they move separately. They don't necessarily oh, go yeah. go. So. Well, right. nice. Congratulations! Yeah. Really, really Proud mama. Day. She had a. She did have a really. I have to say, oh, we're all count. But she had a very good day. She's seventh in Division Two and nineteenth overall in the state. Yeah. Wow. So that is good. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. really good. It's great. That training pays off. Mm -hmm. I drive to Cal's day and night for her to train on the county about, roads. Did you ever think about moving to Cal's? <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> yeah, it's just a thought. Before we moved to Berlin, where, you know, it was. That was the right spot. That, that <laughs> was what worked for us. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Are chat taxes cheaper in Berlin? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was my question. Oh, and I had glasses, and what did I do with them? Did I leave them? Is that yours here? Yes, because I, I couldn't see. We're going to get you a string. I do. One of those neck out of my spray. What do they call those? Lanyard. Huh? A lanyard? Is that what they're called for glasses? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Old ladies rope. And I love it. They call it a string. Older. <laughs> hey, Sandra? Yes. This. Maybe it's me, I'll try it again, but it seemed like that wasn't working for 5G. Um, did you remember to put this last minute yes, exclamation point on it? <laughs> Is that you? And then the capitals C, W, and F. I got it to work for the 2G, but not for the... It should work for the 5G. All right, I'll keep trying. Keep trying I'll on keep that. Going. We I'll haven't had any... any All right, it's almost 9 o'clock. We need to go home. Is it? Come in late tomorrow. <sighs> All right, so I was when you're having a good time. I know. We know how to have a good time, don't we? All right, so right, leave right your roll. notebooks here. You, you will get them back next time with all of the adjustments. Just leave that them on the table? Or just leave them on the table. That will be fine. Thank you. And so what I'll do, though, with Cemetery, it would seem that he wants that, for, that 49 five in that mm -hmm. particular cell. So... I'll, I'll put it in there because... I am going to follow up just so we're clear. And I will see, see the full Cemetery Commission on our discussion tonight and what our expectation is. I worry that those reports have too much information in them. I'm thinking that they're really... Can you report? The Cemetery reports, oh, oh. which is an accurate report, mm -hmm. but I wonder if they are utilizing them I think last as, year, if, 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 last I'm, year when they I were wonder doing, if they're utilizing them in, in the best way possible. Last year when they were doing their budget, I went to a couple of their meetings so that I could understand and hopefully help them understand. So I might have to do that again. Well, so I'll make a note. I think I have the next couple of months I have my other two boards that meet on Wednesday nights. They're meeting the same Wednesday night back to back. So that means the Wednesday night, the cemetery commission's meeting, I'm free. Well, they did have some additional expenditures this year that they were not anticipating, mm -hmm. and so that would skew the budget right. a little bit. 
And that money that they have that's rolled over, that's not restricted in any way, right? It's not. Oh, it is restricted to them because that's appropriation right. money that. Right, that's what I mean. No, it's not. It's not out of their endowment or oh, no. anything like that. It's just the endowment is right. reflected okay. separately. I just want to be clear. What I thought. The cushion they have. Yeah. But I want to be clear in my mind. So, so I that them. If, that will probably drop mm -hmm. considerably in May and June. So I will offer to attend their meeting in <coughs> November. Um, I'll. I can help as best I can. Mm -hmm. Do we have any insight to why did? The, they did a competitive bid process for the mowing? Sounds like they need yes. to. No, they did. That's how they got this Joe Magnum. Yeah, well, I think they need to do it again. That's just my two cents. Well, I don't understand why it's so high, but that's yeah. higher than what they were anticipating. I think that maybe they shortchanged themselves, thinking it was going to be better than it was. And Jennifer and Fletcher are really the ones that will yeah. be able to answer the question. That's right. why yeah. I want to go and talk to them and yeah. send an email for clarification. I, yeah, I mean, we'll talk about it more, but right. with, with all of our contracts, we need to we need to keep our vendors on their toes. Mm -hmm. We need to keep them sharp. Right. And yeah, we're, that we're looking. And it needs to be competitive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we're looking at numbers. Right. You know, and they need to be aware of that so that they are not just getting complacent. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So you may go, my, my dear treasurer. Good night. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything, Santa. Thank Talk. you for everything. Okay, Thank letter you. of support for Solid Waste Management District. They're looking for getting a grant to come up with a facility to have hazardous household waste facilities. Don't. Yeah, I think you're around. Yeah, so should do it. I've got the letter that I asked Bill Powell to more or less draft, which you've seen in the folder. I just need permission to sign it. So move. Should My motion it? is approving this request from Central Central Vermont Solid Waste Management District to submit a letter of support for their grant application under Denise's signature. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. I'll get this off to them. Um, next is, oh, the flooring. So Sharon and I had a brief chat this afternoon because this, all this, as some of you know, my Fairpoint email is still not working. Mm -hmm. I can get emails, and I've already been on the phone with Cliff a couple times this weekend. I can get emails, but I can't respond, and I can't send new emails. Make so sure Cliff, you call them and get a credit. Good idea, ma'am. Absolutely yeah. not paying bills for service I don't get. So Bruce had sent out this email <laughs> about the flooring. I responded. Then I found out, oh, guess what? Didn't go through to anybody. Because I had some of the same questions that Sharon had, which is, you know, we approved a motion back in whenever it was, 2011, that only gave us 48 hours to review and decide whether to approve an invoice. And I wrote back to Bruce saying, that doesn't work for us. Maybe we set it in motion, what, nine years ago? But we can't just meet and for, you know, to approve an invoice, it's gonna to have to wait till our next regularly scheduled meeting. So I wanna clarify that with him and I wanna put it in the minutes. Um, to did, see you get, did you get my forwarded Yep. To Shannon. To Shannon. Yeah, like, Shannon, my daughter's name. I was like, who's Shannon? I was like, oh, <laughs> Shannon. Shannon, Shannon, Shannon. So it's too yeah. hard. It's too hard. It's a mouth twister. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that being one item, and the reason, and I was reminding myself as well as telling Sharon and so for close benefit, when we went for the bond back in 2004, was it? The building was. Built in 2010. 2010, okay. So whenever it was, when the bond vote all got done and both towns finally approved it after the second vote, mm -hmm. um, we went to get the bond and found out that the bond bank would only give it the loan in one town's name. And East Montpelier is the bigger spender in all of this, even though they have more money to spend. Um, so it was decided then that they would be the 
signers on the bond. And we had our attorney at the time who reviewed it all and said that was okay. Then when the building got all done, there was a little bit of money left. And every little while they've had something come up and they're legitimate in my mind things like mm -hmm. when the, um, all that flooring broke, remember all the cement broke in the mm -hmm. garage and then there were some other issues with the doors and the sinkhole. And a sinkhole, right. So there's been this little bit of money left, but it's kind of like burning a hole in their pocket. Did you say it was 18000 Did I make that up? No, I think in Bruce's email, he said what the balance was, and I think it's like sixteen or something. Yeah, okay, it was in his note. Yeah, it was like 16000 <coughs> Yeah, sixteen eight in the fund. And they're looking to send, spend $3,077. So in my mind, it's a legitimate use of what's left over of those bond funds because we can't, mm -hmm. the bond bank won't take it back mm -hmm. and like reduce the amount that you're paying right. interest on. Mm -hmm. So that's why that money is sitting there, just so you guys mm -hmm. yeah. know what happened in the process. Notwithstanding, it, it's an annoying process. In the scheme of things, the money that's left is now $16,000. Well, then it's going to be thirteen. 13. There is a process where the East Montpelier Select Board looks at it, and we get 48 hours notice to see if we have a problem with it. Right, and that's the process I'm having a problem with right now. Well, yes, in the scheme of things, on principle, I agree. On the other hand, this is this. I think we got a lot bigger fish to fry than pick a fight with them over this. Instead, mm -hmm. I think, um, I think. Well, I do, want, I'm gonna, I do want to bring it to their attention that 48 hours really isn't much time. Right, but they're not looking for us to approve either. They're just, it's a heads up, according to Bruce. It's, it's really a heads up. It's an FYI. And we really, right. And so. Because the bond money is in the East Montpelier's name. It's, it's an FYI, and we've got packed agendas every time. There's only 13,000 left. I think the thing the thing is just not to agree to that arrangement again. Right. Well, it's too late now because we already. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're not going to be doing this again. Well, right, but hopefully we're not going to be having another. Once that thirteen thousand is gone. Right. So in the meantime, but um, I, 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 it's an annoying process, but whatever. Yeah. So, anyways, I think that I do want to bring it to their attention that forty-eight hours really doesn't, or, you know, we're never going to be able to probably meet that deadline. But they're not, it's, uh, Denise, I don't think it's the deadline. I think it's a, here you go after I know, I hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, so, uh, and it is what it is, but I still think they need to know that, anyways. It says if no objections are received. Right. right. We can't object if we don't meet. We can't, we can't object. We and we're not supposed to We can object that we haven't had enough time to review it yeah. as a full board. Well, I guess yeah. that's what we can object right. to every yeah. single time. And they're not supposed to conduct business via email. Right. right. So that's my point, basically, is I object to. But anyway, I mean, I mean, we do have other issues. Bless you. Thank Bless you. you. Bless you. I always sneeze and choose. Oh, I three. Um, so, I mean, the bottom line is we don't really have an issue with right. the expense, and we no. appreciate the heads up, and we think the process is annoying. But I think we should put it, <laughs> I think we should put it in the minutes that... <laughs> what I just said. <laughs> well, the process, the process just doesn't work for us for 48 hours notice. And we can say it's annoying in a, in a different, maybe use the synonyms. It's problematic. Uh, it's problematic. problematic, right, because we... It's, it's inconsistent with, it, with, the, with open, open meeting. Law. We can't. Yeah. It's inconsistent with open meeting, yes. So I think we can say that. It's inconsistent with the open meeting law, and I'll send them that portion of the minutes when Katie gets it done, and that'll give them a heads up. Good enough. Um, Cliff, you're on. IT update. Oh, wait a minute. Do we want to vote? Is there any point in voting on the floor? No. I think it's too late. No, nothing to vote on. Thanks for the heads up. <clears throat> yeah. Go ahead. IT update. So um, we will get a proposal from RB Tech that hopefully we will be able to review at the next meeting, and by proposal I mean a contract for consideration to sign. We don't have to sign it at that meeting, but at least we can start that discussion. Uh, the 
the other thing I will hope to be able to have finalized and present to the board at the next meeting is the uh, letter that I can send out to the other vendors. And our next meeting is on the 11th. Yeah. So we'll be okay because um, I also realized that we had said that when people gave us their proposals, they had to state that they would be valid for a period of 180 days from the time that we closed the uh, <coughs> RFP. Mm -hmm. And that deadline will happen in November. So I think we might be getting into content that we only discussed in open meeting in closed session last time. Yeah, I think I don't think we we're saying anything that. Well, we're 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 making it. We're tacitly making an announcement right now. Well, we haven't decided to award the contract to anybody. We just want to see what their proposed contract would look like. Okay. And everybody, everybody's still on the, on the table as a, as a possible a partner. Potential candidate. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so basically at the, well, we need to go into executive session next meeting, so I'll put this on at the end. Yes, because okay. at that point we will be looking at specifics of contracts for considerations and this may spur us to have questions for the other respondents. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so it's possibly an executive session then. Because yeah, we've been talking about contracts. I would say definitely an okay. executive session. Okay. Anything else? Anybody have questions? No? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, all right, it's moving right along. Look at that, it's only a little after nine. Oh, sorry, Sharon. Um, let's see, all right. Do we want to have a discussion with BLCT about health insurance or not? I would think it'd be beneficial. We could say, well, how are other communities responding to this? And to the increase? Yeah. I mean, well, but based on what Sandra said, our increase is it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It, I'm just it, wondering it, if it's going to be part of the negotiation, the other negotiation process. If it, I don't want us, us to spend a lot of time on it, if it's going to come up in the other process and take some time. I feel like we spent time on it last year, right? When we, we changed the plan. We did a lot. And if, if, if based on Sandra's numbers, understanding that that's preliminary for lots of reasons, mm -hmm. but it's not preliminary according to, if we, if we kept this, what we have, then she has firm numbers right. from Blue Cross. Right. And I think among everything else we got to talk about, that's... Right. She did have that one plan that maybe I'll ask her, what was it she called it? No, she said there was one that wasn't, um, it was a Blue Cross something new that she looked into oh, and was right. like, oh gosh, no, don't even go there. Right, yeah. Um, the LCT said not to bother. Yeah, and she got numbers from Blue Cross, right. I think. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we'll say no. Whether we need to hear from them about the new FLSA rules. FLSA. Yes, that has to do with hours and overtime and and um, that may not be the biggest imperative. No, I mean, that's going to be bargaining. That's that's bargained and outside oh. of FLSA if it's bargained. Right. Well, and as we're updating our personnel policy, that's really where we're going. That's to that's where this will come in. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's an ordinance enforcement training. You probably all got information about. Um, the PC, I think that their meeting, their next meeting is November 6th, and I'm expecting that they will give us a recommendation after that meeting for um, a new ZA. <coughs> but November 11th, and that's what I'm trying to think, November 11th could be really tight time-wise because we'll have the auditors coming. Um, we don't know about the meeting with the union folks, <clears throat> but I know that they might have that, and I'm sure the full, I've already met who I think they're probably going to recommend. <clears throat> um, 
but I'm assuming you folks would all want to meet him as well, right? No. No? I'd be happy to take the recommendation from the Planning Commission if they've met with people and done a... I would, I would want to know what their process was. I didn't want to, that's where they did I, a good process. Because that's where my head it. would be. Is yeah. where I don't need to interview people. If you guys had a good process, everybody was involved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they sent out um, they sent out the notice to all the places where we're supposed to. They got applications back. Some of them wanted more money than we were paying. Some of them wanted mileage. One of them lived in Newbury, and one lived gosh, where I want to say down south somewhere, but they wanted to pay mileage. We don't pay mileage. No. Um, and, but the person they have is local, already a part-time zoning administrator in a joining town. I met, I was here the, the night they interviewed him, and if that's who they recommend, I, I think I would that's say, our person. I would say I'm perfectly comfortable delegating that, if, unless they want if mm -hmm. they have some reservation and they want us involved in actually meeting a, a candidate. You're happy to... Yeah. We can just sign off on it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, I want to hear, I want someone from the Planning Commission to come and say, here's our process. Mm -hmm. We had X number of candidates. Yeah, will come and do that. These yeah. are the criteria we use. I'm just trying to think, it would be faster if we do it that way. Yep. Then if we have to schedule this person for an interview and have them go through the whole thing again. I agree. I don't think we need to schedule for an interview as long as they can speak to the process. However, I will say that we should definitely extend an invitation to the candidate if we imagine improving mm -hmm. them so that they know that they're welcome to approach the select board. Right. Yes. But, we can, but we can always ask him to, the person to come in after they've been in the job for a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. too, mm -hmm. to meet with the board. I just don't want to slow the process down. Does this person down. report to us? Nothing. Mm, I gotta look at the uh, the job description. Probably, cause who else? Well, right, because when we had the <coughs> problem ZA, we were the ones that had to deal with it. All right. Well, then maybe we should meet the. I take that. We should at least meet the, if they're going to report to us, and we should and not an interview, not an interview. It's no, just, just a, a meet and greet. Just a meet really quick. Mm -hmm. I'll review the job description and talk with Jan again just to make sure we're all on the same page and then we've all done the process that we want. And I know the two current people serving as ZA um, were involved and they will the ones be working with this person doing the training. Right, there it is. And we actually advertised it a lot more than we did when we were looking before, Rosa remember. We did it on um, MutiNet, we did it on the VLCT job thing that they have, put it in the papers, it was on the Front Porch Forum a couple times. It's actually <clears throat> fairly, like, they nominate and all we do is approve. The, is approve so. Right. Um, but we do want to see who, because when we had an issue with a previous zoning administrator, we were the ones that had to deal with it. But given everything we have to do. Yeah, I think this is I think it's okay if, if and given what Cliff just showed us that we yeah. they do the process and we appoint. We can Yeah, I think we can appoint just without and like I said, I have met the person. Okay. Um <coughs> Okay. So I'll but that's what I'm, I'm thinking, that the PC is probably going to do it at their November 6th meeting, which we put it to November 11th. For us, I just don't think we're going to have a lot of time that night to do interviews, but we could always do a point. We can hear from Jan. Right. Ten minutes. Here is our process. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. Thank you very much. Recommendation. Yep. And then we could invite the person in at a few future meeting when we don't have so yes. much going on. Yes. Um, you skipped the update on the petition. Did you mean to skip that? No, we already talked about it. Oh, we already talked about it. Um, I'm trying to work out a date to meet with Alfred, but I haven't come up with one yet. And, oh, this is, this is horrible. 
the town meeting lunch people, Linda Sheets resigned. So she's not, there's nobody to organize the town meeting potluck lunch, blah, blah, blah thing again. But the office ladies are coming up with some ideas. We so. never appointed her, so she can't really resign. No, right. <laughs> well, she appointed herself because it was the historic, Ken, historic Ken's corner yeah. folks doing it, but she was really the ringleader. Yeah. And she's just had enough. Yeah. yeah. She had enough a couple of years ago. Yeah. Well, then it wasn't. It was just tired of doing it. Right. Right. You know what? Good for her. Years. Nobody can step forward well until she she says. Right. I'm so I talked to the yeah. office ladies when I was here last week. Got some different ideas, and they're going to pursue some of them. And, and, we'll and I'm sure Linda would be willing to share her process. Oh, I'm sure. You know, and her I telephone don't... list. And, yeah, but yeah. You know, there might be a way to simplify it too. You know, you might be able to get somebody to do lunch, and maybe what you have is salad, garlic bread, and spaghetti. You have meat sauce, and you have non-meat sauce. Something to make it simpler, instead of all. The or you do a, You do a like they do for the, you know, in the high schools now for all of the meats where you need a lot of parent food, you do a big fat Google sheet. Somebody decides this is what we need. We need three vats of mac and cheese, we need two of chili, mm -hmm. we need one vegetarian, and you put it all in there and then people just sign up. Right. And so there's a lot of different, they've got some ideas and we talked about some different ideas, so stay tuned. It's yeah. really just a heads up, nothing for you guys to. I think we should also extend our gratitude. Yes, we should. Because it is appreciated. We should. Um, Memorial Hall folks, I think they're going to come on November 25th to talk about putting something on the warning um, for tax exempt status. And that would be the town share. And then I don't know what the value of their building is. Like, we got to wait for the listers to um, assess the value, which probably over the years will change as they make yearly improvements and modifications, so the value currently will keep going up. And when you exempt the taxes, most people are figuring it's the tax, which is the town and the school share. And if their building is really of high value, that could be a significant amount of school share taxes that everybody else will have to pay. Sure. So um, I guess, and I already asked this question, and the answer was, you can parcel it out. You could say you're exempt from town, but not the school portion, or vice versa. So just so you know that they're going to come and ask that and want to put it on the warning. It's an interesting question. Do we have, oh, I guess the voters in the, can the voters in the context of a town meeting exempt on the school tax? We got to do some more research, but I understand you can do if they worded their warning to exempt Memorial Hall from the town and school tax burden, I mean, normally when we've done it, it's been like um, Adamac Community Center, mm -hmm. which their taxes for a year are minimal. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, parcel it out, the school and the town share, everybody just pays for it. Same thing with um, a couple mm -hmm. other places. Corner. Communities. And Adamac Co-op. Right. And those are, I mean, those are minimally taxed buildings. Memorial Hall, I have no idea how many, how much it's worth. Waterfront. Waterfront, all that property. When they get it all fixed up, it sounds like it's going to be fabulous. So it could be, you know, a substantial um, value. Value. Mm -hmm. and, the, and, the, and the school tax portion, I mean, we already just sent, if you looked at the bills tonight, we're already sending 1.3 million, and that's not all of it right. for our school taxes. Yep. And people are already having a hard time paying their taxes with the increases from Act 46. So we got to we got to think about this. And I mean, we're awfully glad that Memorial Hall is saved. So we just got to balance it. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how we're going to do that, but. Um, I think that's all I had. Schedule a meeting with surrounding towns. Yeah, I haven't done that. But. What are, what's the hold up on the traffic ordinance? Coming up with a date for um, Alfred and I to get together. 
Yeah, but what is the, what's the issue? So the issue is, is that Toby didn't correctly identify some of the road names with the road numbers and things like that. So I looked at it again it, today. It's still screwed up. It's it very requires screwed. another. Okay. It requires Alfred and I sitting down Thoughtful. because okay. it wasn't done the what we asked for it to be done. Huh. Okay. It's, it's a new surprise. Hmm. Okay. Um, minutes. We've got September 30th and October 14th. Yeah, I think September 30th, I didn't have any comments. That was a really short one. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was all in the executive yeah. session. Yeah. <coughs> so I would make a motion to approve the September 30th minutes. Second. Any comment? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. Motion carries. October 14th. Rose added that, which I thought was good. Yeah, proposal put zero cost to the town at this time. And then no, oh, I had a comment for that. I had a comment for the down. I think you had another one. Go back up. Sort of right where we were. Um, uh, about the EMF date. Um, where it says in value for both retiring rescue three and the old rescue four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The old rescue four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because the new rescue four is mm -hmm. the new one they just got from Williston. Oh, okay. Good point. All right. Um, yeah, I wanted it. I just wanted it to be clear that they're the land that they're getting is where this house is. The land, the the land and the building that are currently there was donated to, to Woodbury, and the property sits next to that old rundown store at Woodbury. You remember that one? It's on the same side of the road. It's right next to where the property is, and they're going to turn that into like green space. The town is mm. where the old store was. Yep. Yeah. I read them, I didn't have any comments. Yeah, I think that was it. I think that's it, right, Katie? Yeah. There's some written in red there, Denise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just about the, the, um, the listers. Hey. Um, I think that was it. <coughs> yeah. Anybody want to make a motion to approve them with the changes as noted? Second. All right. Further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, has everybody looked at the orders and warrants? Yep. Mm -hmm. um, old business, new business? We need to go into executive session, don't we? Do we? Yep. Okay. Uh, to pick up on the conversation earlier. Okay. Right. So um, I make the motion that we go into executive session under 1 VSA 3, section 313A3. Personnel matters? Yes, mm -hmm. personnel matters. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 